So, Dave brought home a new bird. Capri's thrilled. Me, not so much. You know how you're supposed to talk about it first? Dave brought it up like a week ago. It's like, hey, I'm thinking my buddy has a baby and I was thinking about getting a baby, baby bird. And I was like, meh, I don't really want to. I don't know if I really like that idea, but I was on the fence. I hadn't said no. I just thought that we were going to talk about it a little bit more before a decision was made. Nope. Bird showed up a week later. Any guesses? Any guesses what type of bird Dave brought home? <sighs> All right. I don't usually make a habit of filming topless, but we got a new dove and it's late and I was getting ready for bed and Jamie said, you should be filming this because Capri just ran to my office and grabbed the baby dove and ran into her room. So we're gonna let you see a little bit uh, of who this new addition is. Oh, you got lights out? Just gonna show everybody who you got. Is it a boy or a girl? Oh, uh, we don't know yet. I brought it in my room, but I wasn't sure if he was gonna fly lap, so I was like, that, so I had to open doors. And then still, I think I found some names. Silky, Ditcha, Red Wristband, <laughs> uh, or Fluffy. Fluffy, I had a dove named Fluffy, and the camera's not gonna focus. So, he just came in today. Oh, did you brush your teeth? I'll do that. <laughs> so he came from Jason and he's, let's see, so he was born around September 11. And so, October 11, it's probably basically, he's like a month and a half right now. Aww. It's your job to tame him, huh? But he's already tamed. Do you remember on the cruise ships? Or she. <laughs> do you remember on the cruise ships how you used to tame all the ones? Like, I don't, I think you were a little too little. You were you like three You need to them? <laughs> yeah, well that, that works. Let's see what he did. It has little like picks on the top of its head. Yeah, some new feathers coming in. Mm -hmm. Alright, are you gonna cuddle with him for a while then? Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, I'll let you guys go then.
So we're trying to decide on a name. Capri really wants to name this dove Fidget because it's very fidgety. I think that it should be named Mayday because that's what looks like it's happening whenever it flies. So Capri wants to come to an agreement that the middle name is Mayday and the first name is Fidget. But since Capri goes by her middle name, I'm kind of okay with that theory. <laughs> So a lot of the comments I get on my budgie videos are all about getting Blueberry a friend. And this is how Blueberry treats friends. Blueberry, that's not how you treat your friends. Blue, it's so rude. So just for clarification, budgies in general can be known to really bully other birds, which seems crazy because they're so tiny in size, but they're, they're very big in personality. And especially when paired up or put with a lot of other budgies, they will really go after and bully a non-species. So for example, housing budgies and doves together is really a no-go inside a cage where the dove can just not get away. Doves also do not have a very high IQ, so <laughs> they don't really mingle well with a lot of animals that can potentially hurt them. So. They just don't know better and they hang out anyway. Um, but budgies in general, I was talking to a client, I think just a few weeks ago, who was housing two budgies with one cockatiel and he had already seen some bullying going on and that's a really dangerous situation for a cockatiel. It's interesting because budgies will actually go for birds just around their eyes and start to pull feathers out around the eyes, make the eyes really, really watery and irritated. They'll climb on birds' backs and just kind of pull feathers out. They can really bully them and because of their amazing flight skills, um, even if your budgie has been previously clipped, this is the one species I feel like comes back from it real easy, almost like it never happened, where they just fly and they fly really well and they tend to uh, dive bomb other birds and just kind of give them hell. That is kind of the best terminology I can think of. Very scientific. Uh, so housing budgies with other species is not the best idea, especially in an actual enclosure. Now, out and about where you can kind of intervene if needed is a different story, but as far as housing in a cage together, budgies and other species, I do not recommend it. So really think twice about doing that. Um, think four or five times <laughs> before doing that. Please don't do that. Uh, budgies seem cute and adorable and tiny, but they can actually do some damage to other birds. So. As much as we thought that Blueberry would enjoy some company on this road trip, not so much. Uh, she just can't help but ride Fidget like, like you're not supposed to ride your friends. What, what the? You're going backwards. <laughs> Now that's not to say there haven't been some really cute endearing moments. When Blueberry can mind her own business and keep her beak to herself, everything is pretty nice since, you know, doves don't bite, they don't really fight unless they're among each other and it's a mating situation where males are really fighting or there's just breeding going on and there's that dynamic to deal with. I haven't really had just a single dove <laughs> ever go after or try to attack anything, including a human. So. Um, Doves are pretty easy going as far as that's concerned. So as long as Blueberry is in check, <laughs> Fidget Mayday is just fine. <laughs> the other cute thing is that Blueberry is really teaching Fidget what to eat. A lot of people don't realize this, but doves can eat the seasonal feeding system that I give to my parrots. It's great for them. So uh, that's something that we give to Fidget Mayday, um, which sounds like a super funny name. I like can't 
I don't know how I'm saying it actually seriously. So Fidget Mayday actually lives in Dave's office for the most part. Um, on a foraging tree, uh, on multiple foraging trees actually, we had to do a little house arranging because of Christmas and that put one of our window foraging trees that's on a, um, it's like a tabletop foraging tree, it ended up going in Dave's office so he has two. So Fidget flies around a lot in there and ends up on a little bit of everything but it's actually pretty endearing and Dave's like happy as a clam having a little dove in his office. <laughs> it's cute. It's actually really cute. Um, and Capri hangs out with this dove as much as possible and cuddles it and all the things. So it's pretty sweet addition, pretty adorable. And Davis promised me that I don't have to clean up after the dove. We did try leaving Fidget a little free roaming uh, in the house because we have multiple foraging trees and it literally looked like somebody had just trashed the house when we had left and come back. He had knocked all these dishes. I stack my bird dishes up in two rows to be able to take them out in the morning to feed the birds and everything because they're the clean dishes and Mayday had obviously run into them, knocked them all off, had knocked all the papers of anything, any homework off, anything that was on something was off. Um, literally looked like somebody just went and knocked things over and of course Mayday was just sitting on a foraging tree like no idea what happened guys didn't see anything I've been here and it's really funny because the name Mayday just makes sense because you'll hear him in the office and it sounds like he's slamming into things it sounds like he's completely out of control and you'll look in there and he's landed on a foraging tree and is just sitting there like nothing happened and you'll hear it and he'll end up back on the tree. And it's just really funny, except for the few times Dave's gone in there and he's obviously been at the keyboard for a while because there's like a little pile of poop or, <laughs> or some other place Dave doesn't necessarily want him to be. But it's pretty endearing having a bird so clueless in the house. The other nice thing about doves is although they'll land on things that they really shouldn't and that can't hold their weight and they realize that when they fall off of it, um, they're not destructive in the sense of they're not gonna, you know, like a keyboard, a parrot would have that thing destroyed in two seconds, but a dove, they don't do that. They don't chew on things and ruin things. Uh, he does still play with a lot of our toys that we offer our birds, especially if there's anything crinkly that can come out or anything that's sort of like a preening toy, doves love those. So. He definitely keeps busy with toys and such things and can use a lot of similar things as far as the parrots, but uh, definitely the less destructiveness is much appreciated <laughs> from the doves. Mm -hmm. 